live by the sea, it's very important that every month or two you have the undercarriage especially, especially the undercarriage, uh, pressure washed and treated with uh, a special lubrification that uh, protects it from rusting quickly. Because these combis are notorious for rusting if you don't do that. Uh, so this is probably the third or fourth time I'm doing it since I bought it about five months ago. And it looks like this guy's doing a very good job. So he just came up to me and told me that the washing is done. He's uh, going to wait for it to dry a little bit and then he's going to spray the oil. And the oil is what uh, really protects it. Somebody else told me the other day that after he's done applying the oil, go take the combi for a ride on a dusty road so that all the dust that flies up from the road uh, is going to stick to the oil. And that adds a, an additional layer of protection. In. So let's see. Santa Catarina in southern Brazil. This is uh, close to where Elsie San Renato lives. He lives in uh, Balneário Pissarras, which is close by. And it's actually uh, this little river separates Peña from uh, Pissarras. Uh, we're just hanging out, spending the day, uh, enjoying the sunshine. It's about 68, 70 degrees for those of you in, uh, in America. Um, I couldn't tell you what it is in, in, in the metric system, but it's beautiful. It's just, the air is cool. It's not uh, blistering hot like in Northeast Brazil. Uh, it, it's just right. And uh, come July, it's winter time down here, so things get cold enough for you to have to wear a jacket. Uh, we're loving it down here. Um, getting ready to, to travel a little bit uh, in the next few days to go further south. And then we'll be back, uh, pick up my original license from uh, the MVA here in Santa Catarina, and then we'll start driving back north towards uh, our home in Bahia uh, for the next six months. Um, our lease there runs out in August, and then after that we have to make a big decision. Where do we go? Do we stay in Bahia or do we come down here to be close to family, uh, to, to Elsie's son and daughter? So time will tell. We look forward to sharing that decision and journey with you. So, I was sitting there and this sir came and gave me this fruit. It's called acerola. Uh -huh. And then I ate already one. See the seed inside is this one. Right. And I gave the other ones for my husband because I love you. Let's see. Don't bite in the middle. Mm. Eat around. Good. Anything that is called acerola, as, erola. Ah, come on. <laughs> I'm suspicious of. Oh, this is actually very good. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's that guy sitting next to the fisherman to the left, mm -hmm. the guy in the white shirt, right? Yes, yes. He just randomly came up to you and gave yeah, this to you? Yeah, he went in the tree and he took some and offered to me, to the other the little girl. Elsie, yeah. I love nice Brazil. People. I yeah. love Brazil. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm so glad we were here. You know, I think fishing is a relaxing hobby. Um, if we end up moving down to Peña, Santa Catarina, this would be a great spot for me to hang out, paint, uh, fish, 
spend the day. Everything is close by, um, etc. Great little spot we found here. This is one of the benefits of owning a combi. Now, we don't live in the combi, but every time we go someplace, we're able to sleep in the combi, even if it's an afternoon nap like Kelsey's taking right now. Or if we choose not to go to a hotel, we can park the combi in many, many places, either in campgrounds or boondocking. Brazil is full of boondocking places, or if you uh, want to be close to a bathroom and all that, you can go to like a posto, which is like a truck stop that has restaurants and bathrooms and showers that you can pay for. Many options. You know, Brazil really reminds me of India in many ways. And this chain holding the motorcycle to this light pole is just one example. There are many things I see on a regular basis. I think, wow, this is a more beautiful version of my birth country of India. But I love Brazil. Love Brazil. Like today is Sunday and there's one thing I've noticed about Brazilians. They chill out. They spend the day barbecuing. They spend the day watching soccer. Uh, as you can see here, you've got an entire family in uh, in front of us. You've got a father, you've got a mother, uh, there are two uh, probably kids in their 20s and then their children. It's like uh, three generations spending a Sunday together just fishing and uh, nobody's drinking alcohol. Uh, it's just water and they seem to be having a good old time. They've caught about uh, a dozen fish in a span of a few hours. Um, and this is quality living. Quality living. I really am so glad that we came to Brazil to live because I wanted to be surrounded by exactly these kind of people. Laid back, chilled out people. Smiley, happy faces. And we found them. Nós estamos indo hoje a um revendedor regional de motorhomes que fica em Barra Velha, Santa Catarina. Nós vamos tentar fazer algumas melhorias na nossa Kombi, como acrescentar um painel solar, um controlador, baterias, inversor e redefinir a nossa cama para ela ficar um pouquinho mais estreita. E no espaço que sobra, nós vamos adicionar um armário e uma mesinha lateral. Nesse meio tempo, enquanto ele espera chegarem as peças necessárias, nós estamos viajando para o Rio Grande do Sul, Gramado, Canelas, algumas cidadezinhas ali. E ali nós vamos fazer outros episódios, gravar umas coisas bem legais para vocês. E quando a gente voltar, Daí ele vai instalar essas coisas todas que nós combinamos com ele. Então, em breve, nós teremos cenas dos gaúchos da fronteira, tchê! Ah!